Ladies and gentlemen, whenever I'm in this house, I am motivated. You saw the number of worshippers, include my son and my daughter that followed me, then the choir. I don't know how many group of choir that are there. Then your bishop is a psalmist. Listen to me. Now that he's still alive, pick whatever best you can pick. We Africans sometimes we don't value what we have. For me to be coming here every year, you should know that there's something of value that is in him. And that is the truth. My son-in-law is also here. The one who was taking photograph. You know, my daughter gave me sons. And it can't be better than that. Those of you who are looking for boys, I will tell you good luck. I have girls, and they gave me faithful sons. If you are a child of God and you have a reason to regret, then something is wrong. Just as he told you, I come to know the Lord as a very young person. Thank God I'm not yet old. <laughs> Let me report your wife to you. Where you were talking, he told me I shouldn't be worried. When I take the mic, I should fire you back. <laughs> you see my dear friend sometimes I wonder those who don't know God how are they existing because the greatest thing that should happen in life of anybody is to be a son of God and I'm here when I say son women you are all included and uh, let me tell you, uh, Bishop Isiodo, one thing I love in this house, women are even more in service than the men. Sometimes we men, once we put on this tie, we know they move. Let's celebrate the women. Then for to avoid wahala, let's celebrate the men. <laughs> My dear girlfriend, we have been in love for more than 47 years. She has turned her greetings. I don't know, I've been praying for God to make it possible that one of the time I'm coming, I should come with her and once she move most of the girls and the boys they will also be here let, let, let's enjoy ourselves let's enjoy ourselves the message I have for you today it may shock you it may shock you the Lord is saying, before we go and meet him in heaven, there's a life we must live here. Amen. Give me one minute. If you can sit down, I don't mind. You can sit down. <laughs> and those of you who are older than him should sit down. 
But if you know you are younger than him, please stand with me. My dear friend, you know, we talk about heaven. But God is telling me to tell the church, before we go to heaven, there's life to live here. And the life we live here of a truth that will take us to heaven. Many of you may not know how grateful I am to God for the fact that he took me to hell once. And he took me to heaven twice. And I've seen Jesus twice. This, the second time, no, the first time I saw him was in Lagos. And when I met my friend, Dr. Felix Omobude, I was crying. I invited him to come to my hotel room. And when he saw me, he started crying. So I was telling him, don't cry. I brought you here to make me not to cry. Then he will, he will cry more. Then I will now also respond to cry more. The second thing I'm going to touch very briefly. I'm a man who respects time. God has given me a mandate. Turn the church. To face me, I'm the owner of the church. That's why, lift up your hands and tell God. The revelation that I brought here today, tell God to help you to understand it. Understanding is the key thing. Tell him. Yes. Do it as brief as you can. You are left with one minute. Parada sunamati habahako segrebedo liana katos eroton debrihi kakahasedo liana kora yana sedo in Jesus name Amen Daddy the purpose of which I'm still alive Is this Help me To say what you want me to say Help these brethren to understand Your voice Thank you father In Jesus name Be seated I would like to remind you, as we are all here, I will appreciate that you be careful about your movement because we are already on the air. People around the world are, are listening to us. I want to try to manage two messages together. One of them is what Jesus said that turn the church to me. I own the church. And very few of you were here on the night, that's Friday night, is that correct? That were here. I, I dwell on it properly. In Matthew 16, when you read it, Jesus asked the disciple, Who do men say that I am? And it's one of the most dramatic questions and answers. The Bible says, and they keep on saying, some say you are Jeremiah, some say you are Isaiah. That's why Dr. Ishodo, if these people are asked this question, who the God says that you, Dr. Isiodo, is. You are going to see a big drama. Some are going to say you are a medical doctor. That is obvious. They're your friend. This is the only church where 
there's a medical doctor as the general overseer and there is a medical doctor as uh, an assistant all the years I've been coming I see him sit down there the wife is there then your amiable wife is also this way then some may say that you are a pastor then some may say that somebody told them that you are also a prophet The worst thing that can happen to you, a member of a church like this, is to allow others to tell you who your pastor is. In most cases, they will be wrong. The worst is when you ask people to tell you who your spouse is. It will bring confusion. Jesus finally responded by saying in affirming what Peter says that yes you are the son of God you are the Christ then the response of Jesus became more classic when he said You are correct. Upon this testimony, Peter, not just that Peter, but upon the testimony, I will build my church, not our church. There were days I thought too that it's going to be our church. Because I don't try now to be lifting this thing for almost 50 years. I not try. <laughs> but in spite of all we do, number one, we can do nothing without him. Number two, if he tells us to come home today, you have no choice. You are leaving. One of my daughters is a professor and she has been a professor for eight years. The Lord called him home three months ago, if I'm correct. And that taught me another thing. You know, what you are saying and what you are experiencing is, is very different. Daughter, so I have never had a child die. But the first one that died was no more a child. Was a professor. And uh, to cut a long story short, when I finished with the audience that were coming from around the world, I entered my bedroom. It was as if it's a dream. To me, my dear daughter, it looked as if it, it has not happened. But it has happened. That happened in March, and when now we are in August. And to make it better or worse, everything that woman was doing was to make me happy. Beloved brethren, it's good you know this. We are not of this war. A day we come, he will call you home. But the big issue is that before he call you home, we have a life to live here on earth. And it's the life we live here that will take you there. In our church, Flock of Christ Mission, we have it, we have a saying. Be heavily conscious. Conscious and what again? Earthly and wise. Earthly wise. It's our motto. Heavily conscious, but here on earth, we should be wise. 
And before we move into the real message, listen to me. In Nigeria, if you don't know, let me let you know. People are dying of hunger. In Igbo, yeah, how do you call hunger? Hunger, now we are hungry. Huh? Agoro. Agoro. And now I got it. Hunger. If Jesus was here, what he could have done to people is to give them food. Therefore, the church must give food. How, Bishop? You have a backyard, plant something there. You have a land that you are not building now, go there, plant something. You plant, I plant, it will make the food in the market to become cheaper. Am I communicating? You know, say here now my house. Oh. Uh, me before I know the fear. You know, you were talking about um, my going to America. I've been to America more than 50 times. When at a, 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 is it apartheid, they call it. Apartheid was on. Now it's South Africa. God mandated me to America. To tell them you proclaim you are wise. But God said I should tell you you are a fool. And why are you a fool? I'm here now. How will I tell you who is an America that this land is not your land but it's my land? Not be trouble you define. You are not talking now. I said, that's why I call you a fool. And that time, most of the time, my wife was always with me. And they always think she's my girlfriend. Because we are always very close. Every marriage that is here may other court two of you, boyfriend and girlfriend. Because of your... They made it sound well. You, it, can be, it can sound better than that. The best thing you can taste in your life to have a sound marriage. May your marriage be sound. Amen. You have not married. It's better you should not marry than to have a man or a woman that every day you quarrel. You know him, you. It's better you stay alone. Already, I was telling uh, my friend, I won't give you the detail, I'm going to give you parable. I'm buying a mile square land. A mile square. To give the answer of the need of Nigeria to Nigerians. Person when they hungry, if they tell them about heaven, he not go hear you. I don't know whether they hear me. <laughs> A hungry person, you tell her, say, hungry man, there is heaven. He go tell you before we talk heaven. I am dying. Give me food. May God give you vision. This church is a church of vision and dreams. May God give you dreams and vision. To go and make farm. If you get food now to give out. You go win plenty souls. I'm an evangelist. I know what I'm talking about. If you will hear the voice of the prophet today, that you will. 
make farm. Start from the small land you have at your backyard. If this church have any land somewhere, start planting something there. I hear just a few days ago to that cocoa yam. How many of you know the one that they call cocoa yam? I just heard to that is medicinal. And as I heard that, I'm going to go home, I'm going to plant some cocoa As you did so, if you plan some other thing, join the hospital. So that everybody will come to the hospital. You will not go feed them too free. You, can't, you will not be able to handle people. Oh. People are hungry. Church, let us feed them. If you believe what I'm saying, that you will obey me, that from Monday, you will start to think of how to uh, make a little farm, no matter how little. Then some of you now, you will have big dreams for farm. Lift up your hands and say, I will. I will. Women are not see you plenty of. And if you will, I want you to take a seat. Come and sow it. If you know you will, take a seat. Sow it. And as whatever you lay your hand upon, it shall prosper. It shall prosper. It shall prosper. Sow seed. Hey, Jiro, where are you? Give us something. Just sow that seed. Sow up. So it consciously. So see it. Our wall is dying. Ibu chuku ibu gimado. Sing it. Ibu chuku ibu gimado. Ibu chuku ibu gimado. Hallelujah. He put you Is closer than where I'm coming from. Sometimes we Pentecostals, we deceive ourselves. Believe it or not, you are becoming older every day. Every day. Uh, as you can see me, so the, as the clock, they move so, the face is changing. Let's feed our wall. And as you are doing the farm, 
He should remind you that there is heaven. But let's live a life here on earth. Is the life Jesus lived here on earth that made him to go to heaven? Is it not so? Look at me. Leave the old man alone. Look at me. God has told me to tell you this. Don't forget the first thing he told me to tell you. We should know that the church belong to him. It's not our church. Um, the name of this church is uh, Balm of Gilead. Bishop, now your church. Once he says his church, I won't come here again. Now, Jesus' church. That's why you are all safe. That's why he heals you. Women, you are no more talking. Have I offended you? That's why everything you put your hand, it will prosper. That is number one. Number two. The Lord is saying that I should tell you there is unutilized power that he gave to the church. It's possible that my grammar may not bring it out the way you want. Anything that is unutilized, it means that it is existing, but it's not fully used. Am I correct? The power. Mind you, 28, verse 18. He said, I give you what? Power to do what? Enter the war. I died before. Now I'm alive. Use this power. Luke 10.19 Put it on the screen for us. Luke 10.19. What did he say? Luke 10, 19. Yes. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and not you shall by any means hurt you. Listen up. Behold, I give you the church. What? Power. To do what? Serpents and scorpions. Stand on your feet. Listen, Jesus is not happy. He died for this, you know. For example, if in this church everybody believe that and everybody act on that, everybody, the end time church must be better than the old time church. That's what I tell my colleagues. We always talk about old time, old time, old time religion. To me, if he's going to end up in the old time, then something is wrong. Then we will not be the one to bring that Jesus. I'm not going to be a captain of the old time church. When the Bible says that at the end of time, I will release power. In the day of Pentecost and today, quid day is more of the end time. It's not today? Pastors, I'm begging you. Change your theology. Old time religion. Old time religion. Old time religion. Da, 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 da. 
Eh? It's good enough for me. To me, it's not good enough for you. I believe in old time religion. The righteousness, the power, is not good enough. If it's good enough, then we are not going to be the one to bring Jesus down. Bam or Gilex. I came to help you as end time prophet. That my friend, I don't know that he's here. Is, is he around? The one who was with me in the hotel, uh, the Soko man who came here now. Where are you, where are you there? Joshua, where are you? You see, something is happening you don't know. This man is an Isoko man. Unanoso. God tell Isoko man, leave Isoko, come to a weary. Because something new is about to happen and a weary is going to be the trigger. That's why he's here. If you people will not hear him, now my countryman, I go take him away. This man left everything. Can you imagine? Handsome. When you look at with the shade anywhere, it is a solid shade. Now, not mine, I'm not the only shade. Though. Something is coming together. For the end time move. You don't know who you have. You don't know. And you don't know why I come here once every year. Whenever I'm coming here, uh, uh, we will say, you don't, you say, go meet your, your friend. I say yes. Particularly now, now that everywhere is rough. I told mommy, I said, not tell anybody, say, uh, come away. But I'm here. There is something God wants to do. Please, open up. What is coming down is beyond. What happened in Acts chapter 2? We are more of end time than Acts chapter 2. You know, you were talking about how many times have I been in America. I've been there more than 50 times. I've been in UK more than 33 times. But now, long I stopped. But now God is saying, go back now with a new message. And what is the new message? What is the new message? Look at me. Just look at me. Don't align it to the touch your attention. You the youths. One thing that cherish my heart is that there are youth in this church. The glory of the later house shall be greater than the former. What our father used, our arm shall be greater. The glory shall be greater. And that's just the secret why some of us are not growing old. We want to make sure we hand over this thing to you. And we want to make sure you understood what we are giving to you. And we want to make sure that you utilize it. We will see it happen. Then before some of us will say good night and goodbye. Luke Chapter 10, verse 19. Let's read together again. One, two, three, go. Read. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Tread, what does that mean? Huh? Match what? Look at me. 
If you are not an old person, stand up. Look at me. Scorpions and serpent are the symbol of paths of darkness. Say, so what do we do? Huh? That we should match them. Huh? You know, say me, I don't kill them plenty. They come to my house in attempt to kill me, but I, you, see, you know, say when two power meet, now the stronger one, I go prevail. They have come. The very first time, uh, my first daughter, Dogas, was a baby. I finished crusade and came to the house. I know a first child is to you like, uh, like egg. So I went to her room to lie down, tired. Suddenly, somebody like a human being hit me. Senior, get up. Then I stood up. When I stood up, here was a snake. Then this anointing came on me. I called mommy. Say, mommy, come. So when she, when mommy came, the thing was far bigger than this. Oh. And when you saw it, he wanted to shout. Eh? I said, don't shout. Get me cut last. Let me remind this thing. Number one, I'm anointed. Number two, I'm an isokoma. <laughs> if you have not heard it before, isokoto lopia. So she gave me cutlass. And when he gave me cutlass by then, the team moved like this, put his head that way he cannot see me, but I'm seeing it. So what did I do? Bah! The blood was everywhere, like a blood of a human being. And as we were burning it, one old woman came. My son, my son, don't burn it, give it to us. I said, who is your son? Go and die! But of the truth, she dies. Any power that is going to attempt you this time is going to die. Look at me. Average black man fear powers of darkness. Average. But after this service, I came to conceive you. To pregnant you. Power. If they say power, pass power. Now we get the one where pass other power. I will give you power. To do what? Train. Train. And women, listen to me. That's why I was so happy. You were moving around everywhere. You were the one holy microphone down. To me, you, in this church, you, women, you have come to recognize that in God, there is no man, there is no woman. We are the same. From now, when you move outside, move with confidence. That term it didn't sound well. God doesn't tell lies. God will not promise what he cannot do. That's why I'm confident. Do you know that the sickness mommy, I told your, your husband, three weeks ago, my wife almost died. But before that thing happened, she had a dream. Two of us was in a thick bush. And there was a snake. Then she shouted, Honey, see snake! I said, snake! And as I said, snake! The thing don't die. You are not understanding what I'm saying. So she asked me, what will I do? I said, carry him inside. The... What do you want to carry for her? So? Not be basket. Uh, plate, basin. I said, carry him. You, me, and my children don't get chopped. 
If you don't know, listen. Snake meat, they sweet. How many of you have eaten crocodile? Snake, snake meat, it they sweet past crocodile. Own. Then what happened? She woke up, not knowing that death was coming. But today now, I leave church in her hand now. Are you aware that now she's a bishop? I don't, I don't first ordain my own bishop. You all, you all see, they wait for you. Don't you say you, you are smart? Lift up your two hands. Tell him. He should give you the confidence. It is, the word is already there. To tread on witchcraft. Tread on paths of hell. That we attempt you and attempt your home. Every spirit of fear Mm. That when they call Satan, your heart tremble. Mm-mm. As I stand on this holy altar, yes, sir, and under the mandate that is given to me by the Almighty God, yes, sir, fear mm. should flee from your heart. Amen. The fear of death. Mm. When you hear death, you will stand up. Yes, sir. Because greater is he that is in you Hallelujah. than the power of death. Uh-huh. Your children will not die premature. Amen. Your mm. husband, your spouse will not die premature. Amen. Receive. Amen. Receive. Amen. Receive. Amen. Receive. Amen. Receive. Amen. Receive. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sit down. Hallelujah. I'm going to end up with this. And listen to me carefully. I'm going to round up with what I call unutilized words. Unutilized what? Listen to me carefully. I mean you. Unutilized word. I think it's Psalm 34 verse 1 that says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Thank you. 24 verse 1. Let we already 1, 2, 3 go. That is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The word God, the day that dwells in him. him. The earth is what? The, the Lord. Lord. And what follow? The fullness, the fullness thereof. Look at me. If a man like me that have gone around the world, fly business and first class, then you see my son begging bread. In the street of uh, of a weary, what will you say? Talk and now you will say it cannot be true. Oh, my wife went to weary market now. He's begging to go, begging this, begging that. My wife. 
Because a good man who loves his wife will make the woman dress more expensive than himself. What I'm saying is in the house here. Make I show you. Mama, stand up. The, how do they call this color now? Eh? The purple are the same. But the, the one where they take design, my, my own, is it not different from Bishop? Oh? That is a man who loves his wife. See that, Mama? The same time, you see, when Mama wear this one, hey, if my own, you daily like him, ha, you go wrong for low Mama. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, and we are his children. Hey! How come about we, his children? Bishop, begging bread. Something is wrong. And what is it that is wrong? We lack understanding. The church. You know, there were days, you know, when uh, somebody dressed, my daughter stand up. You know, when I just enter here, I admire you. Because you don't slim down, you know. In those days, when we see women like this, we go say, you, go, you will die and go to hell. Because you look at her from bottom to up, all this one, oh yeah. He's speaking volume. I tell my children, wear the best thing you can think about in this world. Because in heaven, there is no dress like this one. What we shall wear in heaven is the glory of God. God provided this for us. My dear sister, stand up. Come here. You two come here. Look that side. <laughs> Somebody's already speaking to us now. May God, may God help you. <laughs> Somebody's speaking to us. Why? Is the beauty. How do you tell me that those who don't know God will be the one to be wearing this one? Then you will know God. You wear the one. When you pass, your, the odor from your body will be killing flies. Then the question comes, who owns the earth? Listen to me. God, you see, I'm, 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 I'm in a hurry. God is controlling heaven. But the earth here is supposed to be controlled by we who are the sons of God. Go and see that, my dear. Go and see that. Clap your hand for them. It's wrong. You see things like this, then you envy them. Then you will now talk, guess, uh, you know, you worry, go say bad mouth. You get bad mouth. Say, look at her. She will go to hell. You know what is happening? Now, jealousy, not they go ever know. Listen, look at Askoda. Man, look at me. I look fine. From bottom. I, you know, there's a bad I wanted to wear. I said, no. Make I wear this one. There's another shoe. I said, no, give me this one. Women. The bishop. Did they appear where? You know, now, now they call better resort of uh, this county. This can't dress. Even Satan go fear. He say, no go there. No go there. If you get close to me and you smell the perfume 
fly when get close we die <laughs> my daughter come you come where is not you mm, come where is the husband stand here are they looking good yeah. oh giddy turn your back Face me. Face me. Are they looking presentable? Yes. Will you be ashamed of this one? No. Just talk through to. Go and see that. The house you prayed over. 1992. You prayed that your... <laughs> As a bliss of God prayer. I say I mean. But go there now. There's another small one. You know, at that time, 1991-92, it cost us one point something million to build that semi mansion. There's a small one that we build in front of that one now. It cost us, we have already spent 12 million naira. Small building. I'm preparing that place for a V. The top is three floors. The first floor is for the, the guide. The second one is for the policeman. Then the third one. The day when body sweet me, I go tell mommy, let's go down. We could go sleep for that side. When you sleep for that camp place, we get good dreams. That is the truth. You sleep for the house when you, you know uh, what you call now rat and uh, mosquitoes will not let you sleep. If you just close your eye, you see devil. That's why the second temple now you are building, the glory will be far better than this one. Glory. The poor man's spirit, you see shoe like this kind of one, you price them, they will tell you, say, 75,000 naira. Then you will turn around. If you have no money, the worldliness. Then the question comes, who made it? The earth is the Lord. And what? Is it true? You better go change your wardrobe. Better do that. Don't go and steal. I'm going to pray for you. Whatever I put on today, I did that intentionally. You know, this one are police. So. You know, the Nigerian police have come to award me. So not take me play. So the police hold me. Hey, yeah, yeah. I say keep quiet. The same me. I've been awarded a general. I've never used the, the, the uniform. I'm a general. Why is all this? Satan, you can't play with me. Hey, hold on, hold on. Then I bring out my car. By, oh, daddy, yes. Get out. Instead of me to run, now then go run. Let the name of God who called me be glorified. Please. 
And I'm telling my children, if I can be where I am now, you will be in your own level. Look at what. Stand up. You see her? You see in glass? Turn around. Turn me the see. He said, never marry. I will say, who never marry? Go hold her. But you hold her now, my daughter will be in trouble. Let's, you see, sit down, my son. Let's change our minds. Our mindsets. Let's change it. We were deceived. That's why every reviver go with truth and he also go with an error. Every reviver, read all books of reviver. You are going to see truth that is overemphasized. What is that? Talk to me. Truth that is overemphasized is an error. And if you want to dress like this, first thing, do you pay your tithe? Do you give the one of God to God? Before you want to do showmanship. Do you know if everybody here pay tight, that building, you will build it in three months. If everybody is faithful, God have to send a prophet from the north to me to tell me, Daddy, he's seen on me by Ejo, but he called me Daddy. If every member of your church pay tight, the dream of God in your heart will be fulfilled. You must learn to have big dreams. The dream should be big. Listen to me. Look at me. If your dream is something only you can do without God, it didn't come from God. If God gives you dream, it will be bigger than what you can handle. You know, see Joseph's dream? Was it not bigger? Don't you see David dream? Why was Saul pursuing the small boy David? Because when Saul hear David talk, David will be, I'm sorry, where, yes, when Saul hear David talk, Saul will be intimidated. From today, you must have big dream. But, as you have the big dream, listen to me. You must learn to take one step at a time. One step at a time. Then after that, what school of song come? One step at a time. Then after that, what follow? You must also take it one day at a time. You saw the vision I share with you. If I handle land, I want to dive into it, it will kill me. But first, God prepare my mind. So, this dream that I have given to you at your age, 70 years, take it one step at a time. And take it one day at a time. Are you sure you're understanding this? You will stand on your feet. Stand. I will still take a few other minutes to talk to you something. What I'm telling you, how many of you are understanding what I'm telling you? Are you understanding? Yes, sir. Do you believe that what I'm telling you is truth? Yes, sir. You are going to tell God to give you understanding. How do you live a life of one day at a time? The prayer he taught us. Say, give us this day. Give uh, us many days. No, this day. What did he say? This day. Our what? Our daily bread. 
So where the faith come from now of one month or one year? One day at a time. time. God has given me wisdom. I'm taking it one day at a time because mm -hmm. I don't want to die premature. Yes, sir. When you die premature, it, it doesn't really mean that when you die younger. Jesus died at the age of 33. Did Jesus die premature? No, sir. You are not talking again. No, sir. Ask again. Did Jesus die premature? No, sir. Was he fulfilled? Yes, sir. Did he do everything that his father wanted him to do? Yes, sir. Which means he did not die premature. premature. It's like my daughter and her proof. God asked me a question. Simeon, you and I, who owns joy? I say, eh? That's not a question where you ask me. Now you get her now. Then what next? If I'm the one that own proof, must I take permission from you before I take her? These are things we don't understand. I tell God, if I finish what you want me to do today, I don't want to see tomorrow. You know, we always talk about Hezekiah. Is it not Hezekiah? Huh? If that 15 years, go and read these things that happen. Rubbish. <laughs> I know one live that kind of life. Mm -hmm. You know, we teachers, we pastors, we, 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 have, we have deceived the brethren. The 15 years, yes, God gave them to him. 15 years, the Babylonian came, he showed them everything that you see. Now me get all this, you see here? Mm -hmm. Then as they have gone, God called him. Who are those people? So they are the Babylonian. Okay. They are your friends, isn't it? You forget they are your enemies. Therefore, all these things you show them, none shall be here. Mm -hmm. But because of my mercy upon you, I will not do it when you are alive. But his first child that took over from him. Huh? Manessa. Is that correct? What happened? Beloved one, if you come here now, pray for me for a long life. I will ask you what you understand about long life. For example, today, if I, he takes me home today, I have no reason to regret anything. But if today is not the day he wants me to go, then one Satan say his name now Satan, and he want to take my life. It's not going to happen. No. Mm -mm. Do you know I have had accident with my uh, jeep? Jeep pulled down pantry. Pantry died. Simeon Oka is here alive. Hallelujah. Why I have not finished? Yes, sir. How many times a snake have come to me? Even this night, I will tell this snake, I say, listen, when you are coming next time, come bigger. Because if you want to swallow me, I know your tricks. If you want to swallow me, I could do like this. How many of you know that when you do like this, you have defeated that snake? Who wants to swallow you? If you do like this, it takes you in. But now I don't know. Snake? Any snake that wants to swallow you will kill himself. Lift up your two hands. Open your mouth. Tell God. He should give you the wisdom of one day at a time. One day at a time. 
one step at a time. Wisdom. The principal thing. One day at a time. Sing it. Sweet Jesus. That's what I'm asking from you. Lord, help me today. Show me the way. Hallelujah. What I am to do. Sing this song. Sing it. Yesterday is gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. Lord, help me today, show me the way, one day at a time, one day at a time. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. Oh, that's what I'm asking of you. Oh, yes, Lord, Lord, help me today to do everything what I have to do. Cause yesterday is gone. Yesterday is gone, sweet Jesus. And tomorrow, and tomorrow may never be mine. Oh, Lord, help me, Lord, help me today. Show me the way, one day at a time. brethren give them grace that they will take it one day at a time give them the grace they will take the step one step at a time receive 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 amen in Jesus name amen see that in closing Second Corinthians eight nine. In closing, Second Corinthians eight nine. You see what I'm doing now? I'm bringing four messages together. Four. Yes. No, leave here, my friend. My friend, come here. If me sitting down here, sit down. Go ahead. That here, through his poverty, might be rich. Doctor Shodo, this is the word of God. You know, a lot of we theologians say, you know, Jesus was poor. Our car was not poor naturally. A poor person cannot feed 12 people every day. Number one. Number two, a poor person cannot feed 5,000 men without counting women and children. Then where do we get that theology from? It's an error to make the church poor. He became poor because he left a, a place of command and came to become a man like me and you. That's what the Bible say. Read it again. One more time. One, two, three, go. Read it. That through him sake he became poor. That ye through his poverty might be rich. Do you know that theologians who are really theologians say that the dress he was wearing Taylor didn't show it. 
And at his time, it was the most expensive dress. And because of that, the, the generals, they have to cast lots. They want to take it. What am I trying to tell you? God did not make poverty for the church. Oh. Poverty came when Adam and Eve fell. Is that not true? Poverty, confusion, frustration, intimidation. That's why you who is hearing me here, you are being intimidated. You are frustrated. In the name of the one who called me, I rebuke you from your life. Yeah. That may can sound better than that. Yeah. Still on uh, Corinthians. Read Second Corinthians eight twelve. That's the last scripture. For if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man had, and not according to that he had not. This is where I'm running up. Somebody should say willing mind. A willing mind. Say it again. A willing mind. Say it three times. A willing mind. A willing mind. A willing mind. A willing mind, no. You know, for me to stay here to this time is because of a willing mind. Even if I don't run. But I have to do what I should do. So that when I'm going home, I will be happy. A child of God, when you please God, what happens? Women, you are no more talking. You are happy, not be so. You women, when you please your husband, what happened? You are happy. Then your husband too is happy. Say a willing mind. When I wake up this morning, I read about 15 chapters of the Bible. Then I now have a willing mind to please the one who called me. As they see me so, I know they please man. No. It's what I tell mommy. I say, honey, I love you. But if you want to drag me from what God wants me to do, uh -huh, from now till we all have the same understanding, thank God we have two master bedrooms. You day your side, I day my side. Because if I miss the road, now you go suffer so pass. If I maintain the road, now you go enjoy and pass. When when are they hold your hand, we enter first class. Other women go to look at you. Woman, how many of you will like that your husband go hold your hand when I go enter plane? Then I go go first class and, and business class. How many of you will like that country? Raise your hand here. As far as we know still, honey, I must do the will of the one that called me. I have no other thing. Therefore, let there be a willing mind. When they say all night, let there be a willing mind. When they say tight, let there be a willing mind. For example, today, you now know me now. I'm not going to finish until I take money from your hand. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to do that one. If he verse you, <laughs> what do you talk about? Now you, sir. Because to me, that's the only way I can help you. And that's also the only way I can, raise, I can remove body from him. 
This work need money. Chair where you sit down, so not be money. Not be you buy them. Now your money. In those days, when they come here, did they see car like that? Look at outside. Just look outside. I want you to look outside. Just look outside. Look at the whole place full of cars. In those days when I come, hardly go get three cars. Hardly. When when I start for uh, road there last time, how many cars did they park there? But you see, as you have a willing mind in giving, God start responding to you. God start responding. Listen to me. I hate pastoral work with poverty. That's why I face now. I repeat, I hate pastoral work with poverty. Just the way I hate pastoral work with evil. Because that is not what God wants us to be. He said, let there be a willing mind. God will not ask you to give what you don't have. It is when he have given Isaac to Abraham, then he told Abraham, Abraham, bring that to your son, the one you love, that one by the name Isaac. Bring up. When Abraham look at the matter, not tell him, you take God tell you, say, take this one, take go mountain, go and do sacrifice. If you tell this woman, he go kill you before they break you. Because no woman can take that. The child I got at the age of what? 90. The only son. The only son. Say, take him. Your son. Isaac. The one you love. You know, you see, you see how God is? He described it in a way that uh, Abraham now will go hold another man picking. Then he could just cut off his neck. Ishmael. <laughs> That's why people like me, when I come sometimes, when I they raise the phone, I know they worry you. Because I know I'm making you to become what God wants you to be. First time when they come here, now Jeep like this one, they drive come. This one, the two, now they get like, I say they be. Because I go do them. You see me they sweat? I go tire. I go enter a motor. Ba, 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 ba. Naturally, I don't like traveling by road. It's possible my next coming, I will fly that to Lagos. Then from Lagos, I fly to your airport. But I have to do it. Because that is where my joy is. The joy of a true child of God is to do the will. The will of God. <laughs> I tell mommy, come. <laughs> come, come, come. I tell mommy, hold my hand. I tell mommy, I say we can hold our hands when we agree to do the will of God. But when you say no, for now, you go do your own. Then I do my own. But one thing I am sure of, once you are in the will of God, your husband or your wife shall follow you. Because better go flow now. Once honey start to flow, eh? then when you call me honey, then you will see honey leak. I don't finish. Stand up. <laughs> I'm done. Stand up. You are wonderful people. Clap for yourselves. Everybody stand on your feet. Why do I go all this way? I come here only once. And that once is the one who knows the sacrifice I make. I left a big crowd behind. But today, this is my crowd. And I'm content. 
I will never complain. When I finish now, you no know, clean my face, we start going back home. And when I go see Una again, this compound will not be enough to pack cars. God is not a taker. He's a giver. Told me many years ago, Senior, I'm not a taker. I own you own everything. When I'm asking you to give me something, it's because I want to bless you. There's a song coming to your mind. Why don't you sing it? In line, Hallelujah. God is not a taker. God is not wicked. Great is thy faithfulness. Thank you. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All that I need in your hands has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord. Sing, great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faith. Oh, great is thy faith. Oh, morning by morning, new mercies I see. Yes, all that I needed, your hands has provided. So great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Now listen to me. We are now in 2021. In 2020, we came from. Do you know how many people have died? Can't you think? That's what I'm hearing God say. Can't you think? Can't you think? In my streets, brother, most of them are evil. They are all gone. Rich and weird. And God told me, it's not the epidemic that killed them. It is the spirit of fear. Think we are alive not because we are more righteous. Can't you think? That's what I'm hearing God say. You know they think if you die, you have no more time. Some of you, you are looking at wristwatch. Yes, you should. You should do that because here it is time. Lift up your two hands. Tell God to give you a heart to think. To think. If you think, you will appreciate God. Think! Think! I give you a minute to pray. still raise up your two hands. I want to pray for you. Just raise those two hands. Lord, I, I start with the elderly. Give them grace to think. I come to the women. Give them grace to think. I come to the men. 
give them grace to think. Above all, the young ones. Let us think. Then we shall be grateful to God for keeping us alive. Amen. It's the living that can obey God. Yes, sir. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now look at me. A few minutes, I'm done, then I will run. few minutes that building you know you all know uh, where's my daughter you know you know I said uh, we come to dedicate that building but I understand the lockdown the lockdown and now children are there now is that correct if that building can finish when I come next year August. Let's dedicate it. It's not for me. It's not for him. It's for the one that call us. Since we are here, no good. You know, today, na heavy rain for just now. If say, na paka paka, what will happen? You will build it, finish it, and the finishing work will be good. If you build, reach a point when the finishing work has begun, I think come to look at it, say, change this one, change this one, change this one. Let's make God happy. It is well. 